Hey, my name is Maya Stewardson and I play Grace in My First Summer, which is written and directed by Katie Found. I think the biggest driving factor in me coming on board the film My First Summer was that when I read the script, I just initially felt the character within me. I felt like I could place her and that I knew part of her lived experience already. I was also really excited about the fact that this was a new work about young people, about queer love, and it was written by Katie Fan, who's wonderful. She wrote and also directed the project and that she's a powerhouse and a young queer person herself. And I felt so safe in being able to really come and bring my all to the project, not only in the rehearsal room, but I was fully able to lay all of my cards out on the table from start to finish. And I think that's what made the project so beautiful. But it's really special when you can clock that at the very start of a project. That's always a really nice thing to kind of have under your belt in making a work. I think the biggest challenge for me in making the film was just definitely allowing myself to be as emotionally open and available as I could be. Uh, something that I will always thank Markella Kavanagh for who played Claudia in the film is that she really taught me how to just totally let the camera in. I think because I come from such a big theatre background where you're, you're used to playing to such a large audience and having their real time response, suddenly having to be quite small and specific with a camera where you're not necessarily getting that response immediately um, was, was really challenging. And so allowing myself to actually let my guard down and access all of the emotional spaces that were in me whilst also not necessarily getting anything back from the camera was quite hard and you know obviously when you're not getting that live feedback insecurity and doubt comes into play but I'm so grateful that I had Markella and Katie really guiding me through that process and reassuring me that that it was all sitting and reading the right way and I just had to trust myself and allow those emotions to really really come out and it's something that Markella is so good at doing and so I also just learned on the job by watching her. I hope audiences take away from this that young people are amazing and powerful and clever and insightful and that if we can take one thing that's so typical from adolescence and bring it through to the rest of our lives it is to unapologetically feel things big. What I love about these characters is they truly feel everything in the whole spectrum of emotion and there isn't shame or apprehension around accessing and sitting with their emotions. Like these, these two young people sit with each other when it is difficult and it is hard and they don't run away. They nurture their emotions that are coming up and I think that that's something we don't do as much of nowadays because we're so readily available to put things into boxes and to understand them in a very cerebral way. And sometimes we do just need to sit with our emotions and wearing your heart on your sleeve is actually a really beautiful thing. That's certainly what the project gave to me and what I in turn passed to my like inner child. And I hope that audiences take a part of that too and just unapologetically feel things big. So a background in acting, I think a lot of people freak out when they then have to go in front of a camera, which totally I fell into that camp. I was suddenly like, oh my God, I'm used to performing to hundreds of people in a giant theater. How, how am I going to shrink this down, but still make it as truthful and as charged and as exciting when a camera captures it? And I think one of the most important things I ever came to understand is that though technically theater acting and film acting are different at the heart. They're all just about telling stories. And I think sometimes actors get this really bad rap for being really selfish and self-indulgent, but I actually think really great actors are some of the most selfless people ever because all they're doing is trying to tell a beautiful story and, and serve the writing for the enjoyment and, and the pleasure of audiences to suspend their disbelief and to forget about the world and escape into like a beautiful pocket that's been created that maybe only exists for like 45 minutes or two hours. And I think that is like actually quite a selfless act. That being said, as I was transferring kind of the technicality of the craft from my theatre experience over to film, I just had to remember that acting really is all about creating an experience for the audience to lose themselves in. And once I had that really down pat, the technical bits came. They came just from on the job training and and learning and not being afraid to make bold choices and to handle criticism and critique 
you know, humbly. When it comes to giving advice to aspiring creators, I always find that really hard because I feel like I'm certainly in that category. I mean, I don't have anything worked out at the best of times, but I think a sense of play and exploration is really amazing and kind of letting go of that hyper intellectualization of stuff and like needing to understand it all perfectly. Sometimes it's really amazing to be intuitive with your creativity and to try lots of different things because ultimately creativity for me is all about telling a story and being truthful and human connection and so many different arts practices all overlap and fold into each other and inform each other and you're never going to like muddy the purity of your like one main craft by doing something else i actually think it only enhances it which is why i really enjoy making terrible pottery at my house and writing stuff and doing weird silly comedic poetry at stand-up nights and being like totally bad at it but that's okay because all of these things do relate to each other and it is all just storytelling so that would be my main piece of advice try as much as you can or as much as you want to and and don't be afraid to not be the best of everything because that's okay i think the most important thing i learned from working on my first summer and working with katie was was the power of really beautiful dialogue in writing a script you know as an actor i see a lot of different scripts and some are great and some aren't so great but katie's dialogue honestly reads like poetry like every pause and beat and look between these two characters is so fitting and speaks so loud and i think when you have beautiful writing and then you have a director that is solely focused on making that writing the best it can be and then you have actors who really trust each other and really work with each other to really um, sink into those moments that are left kind of blank for the actors to fill that is like the most delicious thing in terms of a script that's all kind of down to how great katie's writing is definitely has this idea of isolation in terms of the bush and in terms of the fact that there aren't kind of key identifiers that would cement us in any particular time for example you don't see these young people on technology or texting each other and what this does create is like a beautiful floating world idea and not only do i think that that is quite unique to queer people who often when they see other members of their community and they form deep connections it can be kind of this just beautiful queer bubble but i think it's also an experience that is uh, felt by all young people and all people as they are coming of age and coming into themselves and that's what i really hooked onto because i knew that the queerness would be would be intrinsically felt because it's literally woven into the fabric of this film but i really wanted this film to champion young people and so I kept that at the forefront of my mind and I think one of the most beautiful things that the film really does is that it reminds us that human connection is so healing and it's also intrinsic to our survival as a species and I hope it encourages people to stay connected or to nourish new connections.